what's up guys welcome back to the studios lock here with a new video for you today we're going to go about uh go over cards um we're going to go over uh, crafting stats um what cards are meta what cards are not um how you should choose your cards how you should not choose your cards and uh what stats you want to uh prioritize over others um so the way this is going to work is I guess I'll go through it in tandem. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible as well. So I'm going to, there's going to be some things I run through and other things I don't. Um, I'm going to try to go in a little bit more detail on the most important stuff and just kind of fly through the stuff that you just need to keep into consideration when uh, messing with your cards. All right. So first off, uh, your cards are going to be a good 70 to 80% of your whole account. Uh, ability right so your cards are going to affect all your characters globally across your account so what you put on your cards or what you roll on your cards or what cards you pick are going to have a huge impact on your account your ability how your characters perform or how they don't perform so let's go ahead and jump into this and uh get after it all right so first off i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna go through the run through real quick of just uh basic stuff um it's semi-important, but not super important, um, just to kind of get it out of the way. Uh, so first off, we're going to talk about what cards are meta, what cards aren't. Um, your meta cards um, that I know of at the moment, um, from my understanding, is going to be this one here, the Guardian, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Best Story Ever 1. Uh, all new, all different Avengers number one art book card. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 605, also known as Baby Spider. Uh, Future Fight First, Luna Snow. Future Fight uh, First, White Fox. Black Panther, 166. And Uncanny Avengers, number 14, also known as Cat vs. Cable Card. Um, from my understanding, those are going to be the most meta cards at the moment. Um, I can't uh, speak for the six-year anniversary card that's coming up. It is going to have five static fixed stats and one optional stat. It's going to come random when you get the card, um, but you will not be able to reroll it. What you get is what you get. Now, we don't know if that's going to be premium or whether it's going to be a standard card or how that's going to work, but... Um, because it is a, uh, a first from a Marvel Future Fight, so we'll just have to see what happens when we get that card and uh, figure it out from there. But, <clears throat> for the most part, those are going to be your most meta cards, and those are going to be the ones you're going to want to look towards getting the most. Now, we do have some sub-meta cards um, that I will quickly go over as well real quick. Um, sub-meta cards, um, I'm going to say more for PvP. Um, your more PvP oriented cards is of course going to be the Gwen Pool, Unbelievable Gwen Pool number 17. It's also going to be New Avengers number 9, Infinity. Um, it's also going to be the Black Widow number 10 card. Um, and these PvP cards are, are mainly due to the fact that they supply HP and uh, <clears throat> regular stats. Now for PvP versus PvE, PvE you want high cooldown for PvP, not necessarily, uh, you don't necessarily need as high. So it's not as important as the HP stat. Because, um, you know, timeline battle, the way it works is if you can live longer than the other guy, you're going to win. Simple as that. Um, especially if you have the damage to back it up. Alright, moving on. Um, as for uh, stats, um, your premium cards are going to have three fixed stats. Um, your uh, most in general, your two top stats are going to be the highest of the three fixed static stats. And then you're going to have your three optionals down below. Okay, now these optionals, when you look at them, are going to be very, very important. Because if you can see here, each one has a list of five options that can be possibly rolled. Now, if you have, if you don't have the, the items, the resources, and whatnot to do crafting, these are going to be very important at first. Um, we'll get into these stats again when we talk about crafting, but for now we're going to talk about just plain old premium cards. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look through your cards and, and check these optionals because you'll see like, for instance, this one has crit rate and cooldown on the same stat. And then this one has your dodge, attack, and attack speed on one stat. 
And then your first optional has crit damage and uh, energy attack. Okay, so each one of these optionals has a stat that you're going to want. But you don't necessarily want uh, all the stats, right? So the thing is, is because they're on the same option, now it comes down to choosing. You have to choose what you want. Some of these cards, looking at them, are not good at all. They're not good at all. And here's an example, okay? So we got uh, Amazing Spider-Man 674. You see the crit damage, physical attack, and energy attack. Three good stats, or three decent stats, on one option. Then we look at this one. We have attack speed, recovery rate, and then we have a, do a dodge proc. One is not so great, but most of them aren't that great, but you still have to pick and choose between attack speed or recovery rate. Then you have this one, max HP. That's an okay stat. You know, you're going to want that HP. So now, now it's down to, well, how many times are you going to have to roll this card just to nail that HP because you're fighting four other stats? <clears throat> um, another good example would be this Black Widow card. Crit, crit damage and dodge on the same stat. Cooldown, attack speed, recovery rate, all on the same stat. We have uh, ignore defense, movement speed, both decent, all in the same stat. And th those are just average cards, right? There's some, some premium cards that are even worse. Even worse than that. Okay, so um, let, let me find a couple examples in here. Um, let's see. We'll go over here. Um, I think this is one. Mm, that's not the greatest example. Now look at me bumming the video. I'm just kidding. Um, you know, look, we'll, we'll go to Old Crescent here. She's she's a good example. Okay. So if you look at the first option, she's got ignore defense and attack speed and recovery rate. And she has a 5% chance to uh, ignore 20% of defense when attacking. So you've got one, two, three really good options. And then you have recovery rate, which makes four decent. Now you're having to pick and choose, right? You go to the fifth stat, crit rate, crit damage, having to pick. And you got physical attack, energy attack, and dodge. Of course, you know, you're going to want to pick, you know, the, the, the energy attack over the rest obviously but what if you have energy attack on another card now you're stuck choosing between physical attack dodge and energy attack and all all three of those stats is something you want right something you want and so you're having to pick and choose you know what you're going to keep and what you're not and what you're going to sacrifice and you know what you're going to uh, uh, advance in and that's not really what you want you want to have most of these stats on a different option Right, so if you can get the, the 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 three most important stats that you need all on a different option, that's where it's going to matter the most, right? So if we go take a look at the cat versus cable card, right? And you see he's got max HP and, and critical rate. Well, we can pick up critical rate uh, from uniform options and such. You can do the same thing for HP, but kind of kind of better to get it here because it's uh, it's an extra boost, right? Then you have energy attack, energy. Uh, Defense, critical damage, cold resist, and crowd control. Again, we would pick the energy attack because we can pull critical damage from uh, Uru's and, and Odin's blessings and, and uniforms. Just as easy as energy attack, but, or, well, actually, a lot easier than energy attack. So we're obviously going to pick that one. You look at the sixth stat attack speed, defense, recovery rate, fire resist, and poison resist. There's your attack speed, right? Recovery rate's not super important, attack speed is more important. But if you look at the top three stats, the most important stats are at the top of the card. They're static. We don't have to pick and choose. And that's what it's all about. Not having to pick and choose what stats we're going to get. Because certain cards have this, have them static at the top. And then your options have really good options that you're going to want to try to roll for the most. That way when we actually final do a final roll on this card and we actually get the stats we want we have six of the main stats that we really really need the most that way when we go to our end game build 
whether you're doing Uru or, or, or Odin's Blessings or Uniform Bonuses or Force Option on the gear, you can cap most of your stats. You can't do that with some of these cards because they make it almost impossible because you're having to pick and choose. And that's the difference uh, 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 in, in why you should pick certain cards over others. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there's certain cards that are meta. And th those are meta for a reason, right? So we're, let's talk about uh, how the, those meta cards affect crafting. Okay, so we'll we'll go to the My Guardians card, right? So right off the top, you can see the two top stats is going to be HP and all attack, right? Okay, and then I have my third, which is a subsidiary stat, which is going to be lower, is, is which is going to be the lowest of the three static stats. But it's also going to be one of the lowest stats on the card, right? So we do want attack speed, but it's a subsidiary stat, so it's good that it's there. But then if you look, you know, Grant, you might the the last two rolls on here aren't that great. I still have to fix that, but we can see that crit damage cooldown crit rate, right? Cooldown is the most important. That's a stat we want. We definitely want that stat. When we look at energy attack and dodge on another stat. Okay, well, we can fix the dodge elsewhere, but if we got dodge, great. If we didn't get energy attack, that's okay too, because we have that all attack up here for that 10%. And then we have physical attack, right? So ideally, the best stats for this card is going to be the cooldown, the energy attack, and the physical attack. And why is that important? Well, if you think about it, if we get 5%, we're not even going to count the decimal numbers, right? So we get 5% energy attack and 6% physical attack that's going to stack on top of the all attack that's going to give us 15 and 16 percent universally right on top of whatever stats you get from other cards on top of the fact we're going to get hp and attack speed and some extra cooldown that we need right and so when you're looking at your stats you're going to want to put certain stats at certain numbers so like right now you want to do your ignore defense and your cooldown at roughly between I, I, I say 32 and 35 percent for for a soft cap using urus and and, and other methods of, of finishing it off with the crafted uh with the crafting abilities now it's much much easier to, to to cap all those stats without even incorporating them into the uru which is a good thing because you can cap so many stats or get them so close and then you can just kind of break that limit break that barrier that's there and finish it off straight through the cards um, this isn't the best role for this card, obviously, but it is a decent one. I've got dodge, subsidiary, max HP, that's a main stat, critical damage, that's a main stat, critical rate, that's a main stat, physical attack, that's also a main stat. Something that we want to look at. Now, is it, uh, uh, is the physical attack a subpar main stat? Yes, it's not the all attack that we want, but it, it's, it's, it's good, nonetheless, because it's going to give us a damage bonus for all of our characters. And that's how we're going to want to do each one of these cards. So if you look at my baby spider, <clears throat> I've got the HP again, right? I've got the crit rate again. I don't have the physical attack, but I do have the energy attack down here. Now I do have recovery rate instead of dodge, which is good because that's also a subsidiary stat. And it's not the same stat, right? Because if you look at all these uh, craft stats, right? All these crafted stats, all six of them, are the same on every single craft card you do so like the same options that are on on baby spider in the first star slot are the same options that are on the guardians one the same exact stats so universally you're going to want all attack on your bottoms across the cards and of course you're going to want the max hp in the on the second star across all your cards and then the rest of them are just caps right so if you have one on dodge, one on recovery rate, on different cards, that's okay. <clears throat> because you can you can roll that multiple times on on across all five of your cards. You know, you don't want all five cards to sit there and have dodge. You know, I mean, you'll have cap dodge, but what are you going to do with all that extra cap, right? So you can kind of progress and plan how you want to do your cards to where they can cap stats to where universally you're not going over overboard with the stats that you're going to do but that's saying you're going to lock and and uh pay the ante when it comes to crafting and combining because you know you lock one stat you got 50 100 150 300 500 and of course you can't 
you can't rock the the six step because that's you know then you're not even re-rolling the car but it can it, it's going to cost you crystals and premium cards for every time you re-roll right but you can still even even if you're a free-to-play player you can still plan it out on on what you're going to do how you're going to do it and then do you can lock this lock the stats you're going to keep and you can do one star at a time keep rolling until you get the color and the stat you want and then move to the next is it going to be kind of costly over time of course you know but it, in this game it, it's, it's a business too you know marvel future fights a company it's a business they got to make money and they got to do it somehow and this is going to be a, a way for them to to earn money like i'm not even gonna lie to you i went and i crafted this card twice yesterday i did a re-roll i locked all my blue i was trying to roll uh the crit rate to cool down and the energy attack to all attack i had these same two stats in the same color come back to me this is what they were before i re-rolled it i re-rolled it and got the same two colors and the same two stats then i re-rolled it again and i got the same two colors and the same two stats again the odds of that are almost impossible but that's rng for you right but that's how your your crafting is going to work that's how cards work um like i said globally they're going to be 70 percent of of your accounts ability and, and and how your account can perform on a character basis um Certain cards are going to be more valued over others because of where the statics, what the static stats on it are, what the optionals, uh, options are per option, because you don't, you don't want all your, your good stats on the same option, right? Because then the other two options are going to be garbage. And then you're going to have to pick one of say three or four good stats. You don't want to do that. You want them separate. You want them to have all those options but all on the, on different optional stars, right? So if we say this is star one, two, three at the top, and you have star four, star five, and star six. Well, star four, five, and six, you want them to have all those stats just on, on, a, on a different option. Like you want this one to be all attack, and you want this one to be, uh, you know, whatever, whatever stat it is you need or, or, or whatever, right? As for the stats that you're going to want to focus on, um, you have main stats and then you have some, some uh, excuse me, subsidiary stats. That was a tongue twister, wasn't it? All right, so your main stats, of course, are going to be max HP and all attack. Max, max HP is going to be kind of 50-50 right there, um, simply because you don't have to have max HP. Um, if you're doing, if you're more PVE oriented, 20%, 25%, that's kind of a good end point there for your HP you don't really need a whole bunch of it to, to overperform, right? Because it's all about damage dealt. Versus PvP, the other half, is you want really high HP. So you're going to have to decide for yourself whether uh, you want to be PvE oriented, PvP oriented, or if you're going to be kind of in the middle, which is where I'm at. I'm kind of in the middle on that, that middle base guy. But you're going to do all attack, HP. Um, next main stats is going to be crit damage, crit rate, uh, ignore defense, and cooldown. Your subsidiary stats is going to be your attack speed, your dodge, recovery rate, and uh, movement speed, right? Because if your characters run slow, it's not all that great. So, but some of these stats you, you you can put on the you can get on the craft, right? Movement speed, do that do that stat on the on, on the craft stat. Um, you can do dodge on the craft stat, all defense on the craft stat, recovery rate on the craft stat. The main card stats you're going to want to focus ignore defense, cooldown all attack hp and then you can uh, do the three subsidiary stats on it for crit damage crit rate and attack speed as your uh, blue options and that's why those certain cards that i mentioned at the beginning of the video were meta because of where those static uh, stats what those static stats are and the optionals that you can also get uh, for those three optionals at the bottom of the cards and that kind of pretty much rounds up cards it's kind of a quick run through i wanted to make a quick video of it um if you guys want to see a more in-depth video on cards and how they work in super detail um leave a comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe this is lock signing out have a good one